Hi guys. So uh, I was gathering magnetite, and um, yeah, I'm not gonna be um, going out there anytime soon. Um, I need to get in here more. He's hearing me every single time I bump into something. So they find you, echo location. So, so yeah, um, like I said, I know the peeper trick works, but that is still scary. I mean, I don't want to go out there. Um, just, oh my god. So, um, yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. I literally, I was over by the vent and I heard him. So I was like, oh, well, let's head back to the thing real quick. And I got in and I turned and he was right there. So, uh, what I thought I'd do is actually, uh, while waiting for him to pass, uh, read a couple of these out. So, alien eggs. Evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all of the local species, reproduce through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the seafloor, buried beneath detritus, or even wedged into the cracks in the rock. Different species likely favor different biomes as their nesting grounds. Eggs discovered in the, wall, in the wild are in some form of natural stasis, likely awaiting ideal conditions in which to hatch, or the discovery of some vital enzyme which will kickstart the process. It is impossible to calculate the species of the egg from the exterior, however it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. So that's all about the... Uh, and the containment things that I like to build. So, I'm not going to read any of these. These are all pretty standard. Um, that's all standard as well. Nothing you really need to worry too much about. I uh, did build the scanner room while I was away. I used it to help me find some stalker teeth. So I have more than enough stalker teeth for when I finally get the other pieces. It's just so creepy seeing him off in the distance like that. Uh, power, bioreactor, cyclops, that's what I'm hoping to build soon. That's what I'm in right now. Scan data. Uh, alien vent, which is a little bit further back from where I am. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumpkin, the pumpkin, uh, pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxidized water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Further research required. Oh! Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. There's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Is everyone's dead? You really think it'll carry two of us? 
Your regular Sea Glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Well, that's a shitty way to die. Sorry that happened to you. Uh, transmission origin. I think I've already been to you. Yeah. I've been to you already. Um. Blah, blah, blah. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. They use that in the uh, scenic trailer. It's oh, so good. If you haven't watched that, you should totally need to watch it. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. Well, it's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You wanna forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of stormwater? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Wait, isn't her name Maida? Why is it Marguerite in here? Marguerite. So, how did it say Meta? Meta is a short version of Marguerite? I didn't know that. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now, what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. 
Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Mm -hmm. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship. Oh, this is the uh, I've artifact. Ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Uh, 4546B environmental scan. Category 3 ocean planet, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, ex extensive biodiversity. Safety warnings. May support leviathan class predators. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space, rescue and lake. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazard material suits and extensive support apparatus. So there's all. Now this is confirms this wreckage from the Aurora, yada yada yada. All degradation. Salvage of intact portions of Altera vessels is prohibited at legal, moral, and technical levels. However, scraps such as these may be reclaimed for the t uh, blah, blah. Oh, okay, that explains why I can't just, like, completely, you know, take apart one of the wrecks I come across and salvage all that for the titanium. Because these cheap bastards won't lend me. Um. I mean, I guess I should have figured since they're require me to reimburse them for all the items I'm using to survive. So. Yeah, so I'm not gonna read all these. Uh, da, 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 da. Stock for teeth exhibit extraordinary lightness and strength. Can contain only trace amounts of calcium. The edges show sign of wear and are studded with metal flakes, providing evidence that the stalkers chew on metal deposits in order to sharpen their teeth. Didn't realize that'd be for teeth sharpening, but you no, know, makes sense. Now I need to scan some more creatures. It's amusing to me that a re uh, reef back is a leviathan class species because it's not like a predator, and I'd figured all leviathans were predators, but it makes sense because of the size of it. Um, yeah. You can read those if you want. I'm not overly interested. I've read them all in ple previous playthroughs on my own. But. It is kind of neat to look at the, uh, whole scan thing. It's a pity that not everything has one, but that's kind of neat. Yeah, showing a little bit of bits of science here and science there. Sort of like if you were looking at a textbook of an item. What's weird to me is that like not everything is usable. Like, you can, you can scan it, you can get pieces of it, but, like, not all of it's actually of use. Alright, so that's all of that stuff that I have. Um, oh yeah, I went to the, uh, floating islands and the sand sharks were being dicks. Wouldn't let me get anywhere near them. Um... 
still doesn't make f any sense to me. And why would it be all bleh? You still out here? Why don't you go away so I can uh, get some more magnetite, please? Pretty please? Alright, tell you what I'm gonna do. Since we're right here, and I've got some time to kill, and he's not going away, I'm gonna show you guys that this works. This is my first time doing it by myself, and I am exactly as terrified as I should be. I know it works because I've seen other people do it. Yeah, come on. Num num. Got a delicious peeper for you. Hey. Hey, over here. Hey. 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 Dude. Hey. Hey. Come over here. I want to get a good look at you. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're so scary. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Hey. Hey, can you hurry up and take this, please? I'm running out of oxygen. Oh, can you not get to me? 30 seconds. All right, hold on. One second, we'll do this again in a second. Gotta get to, gotta get to air, gotta get to air, gotta get to air. Okay. Welcome All right. Aboard, Captain. Okay, let's do this horrible idea. Come on. Hey. Hey, jerk. Hey. Hello? Fresh fish. I'm out here in the open now. Hello? Hi? Reaper. Hey. You just come towards me already? Hey. Dude. Like, seriously, I could have collected so much magnetite by now. Hey. 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 There we go. Come on. Take the... Yeah. See? <laughs> yeah. 30 seconds. <laughs> Oh god, that's exactly as scary as it seems. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god, that was fine. <laughs> Even fully knowing that it works, having watched it from other people. Oh. Alright. Well, since he's just gonna chill around here, I might as well head back. I got one magnetite, which is enough for one of the scanner room upgrades I wanted, anyway. So, what's that? Oh, it's probably... Probably something I already have. Yeah, bridge fragment. But since I'm here... Okay. No thanks. Oh, wrong way. I uh, politely decline hanging out with you guys. Sorry. It is uh, yeah, my uh, schedule's swamped. I uh, can't can't chill.
back home real quick. So I want to be going forward and just like slam into a wall because it didn't load. Because then, like, you know, I might not be able to get out. It's happened to me once before. Uh, one of the wrecks didn't load. And so I was just flying along in this and uh, the wreck loaded around me. And so I got stuck and had to reload because I couldn't get her up. Alright, home to home. Alright. Uh. So I have a scanner room all going. It's pretty cool. Uh, I need, yeah, the range update, so I just need a piece of copper. Which I have downstairs. Conveniently. Love having this thing because there's so much power for so little. You know, you don't need a lot of stuff. I have that. And I'll update the range for everything. Puts in a lot more stuff. It's kind of neat. Uh, yeah, so I'll just do that on my own time again. And I don't think I changed anything else uh, from the last time. I was just trying to gather ingredients. So. Just put in some more windows. Got like, yeah, some of my little kush flings growing. Eventually I'll have the other stuff for that one, but that's for when I go down deep into the blood kelp zone, get that there, get the uh, white mushrooms, put those in there, uh, grab some eye stalks, see if I can plant those, I'm not sure what else I could plant. Um, I took a fungal spore from one of the uh, mushroom trees, but that's not a plantable item. So, that's in here for right now. All my creature eggs. All that good stuff. Um, I tried putting the water in the uh, bioreactor, but that doesn't count as a organic material. So, I can't put that in. So, whoop. Cat on the keyboard. So, yeah, so all those are just kind of hanging out for now. Still got my coffee. For no reason. Cause I like coffee. Hey, Jesus, I was stuck on that for a while. Which up here I have uh, two coffee makers because I like the looks of them. Uh, yeah, I don't need vending machine stuff because I can't eat it. But yeah, got all kinds of little fish in here. The thing I showed you last time. But uh, I like to have one of each in the aquarium just because it looks nice. So once I fill this up and then I'll go deeper, I'll make another aquarium maybe over here. I'm not sure exactly yet. This is where I'm putting all the uh, equipment I find. So I found a couple of those which is nice. I like this nice little view. 
Um, so yeah, when I get a bed, I'm gonna put that over here as well. So this is kind of like my little little room. Wish I had a vending machine at home. Just infinite snacks would be nice. Um, okay. Do this real quick. Gold and diamond. And no, silver. Lead and lithium. There we go. Yeah. So that's uh, all for now, because like I, I don't really have much progress. I was just waiting on that Reaper to pass, and I didn't want to. So now you've seen a Reaper being fed, and you got all the little details uh, that I've gathered from the story so far. Thanks for watching.